Sure, it's glamorous. Sure, it's a dream come true, but just like any other kind of life, you win some and you lose some when you're li living the life of a K-pop artist. I've always wanted to sit down with a fellow K-pop artist to have a heart-to-heart -heart about this job and let them know, hey, I feel you, and finally I get to do just that. Joining me in the studio for our Wednesday segment, I Feel You is NV of the K-pop girl group Black Swan. Hi! Hello! And welcome back! Thank you for having me again and again and again. It's so nice to see you every week as like a, a fresh, uh, refreshing... Really though. Fresh, yeah, breathing. I told you last breath. week, I need this as my routine now, mm -hmm. so every Wednesday, it's, if, if I don't have it on Wednesday, I'm like... <laughs> Oh, what to do today? I don't have mm -hmm. anything. I want to go to the radio station and Aww. be with him. I'm so many. <laughs> I'm so happy that this segment is on Wednesday because usually Wednesday on Wednesdays we're tired because like yeah. the hump day. Yeah, exactly. But to have you is like a, a light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, you. you're very bright colored today. The Ray opposite of, of you. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I love the yellow. You look good in yellow. Thank you. I'm starting to like yellow because yeah. pink has always been my favorite color. And it matches with pink. Oh yeah, it does. But st st recently, I just started to yeah to like yellow. It's spring, so yeah, yeah it's a mm -hmm. good idea. And, and then it just <laughs> makes me feel yeah. happy. And look yeah. at you. Can you tell us about your OOTD? Today, I am wearing jeans. A sweatshirt, mm -hmm. uh, no, a hoodie, mm -hmm. and a beanie. I'm going back to beanie city because it's rainy. Oh, yeah. It it's rainy. quite gloomy outside today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't like it. Uh -huh. And it's, it was cold. Wait, so I was uh, like, yeah. yeah. It's kind of cold today. But yeah, this is actually my kind of normal outfit wear. On Me a too. Basis. Me too. It's something that I would wear. Too. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's, it's like comfy. A, uh, whatever is comfy, that's my thing. Yeah, because mm -hmm. normally, at least lately, that I've been showing up, it's like, it can be casual clothes or like more casual formal clothes. Mm -hmm. But this is how I normally dress. Yeah, but I have to say, you look good in everything. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. So do you. Every time you come with a different fa fashion and style, it all looks like, you know, so glamorous, yeah. so nice. I think uh -huh. for. For a little bit, I'm gonna style like this for a little bit. <laughs> Bring more hats and stuff out. So yeah, get ready. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be preparing more casual outfits. <laughs> Very cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, it's kind. It was really. It's kind of cold outside. I had to wear like thin padding. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> really, I walked. I out thought today, it was, was summer, like... and now we're back to yeah. Whenever I see it raining, normally it's usually always cold. So I was like. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, we're going to, you know, wear yeah. a sweatshirt today. <laughs> so, how was your week? Anything special? Anything new? Um, well, the apartment is great. I'm oh, still did getting, you move? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we moved last Friday. Are you still using your... You're, are you still sharing your room with... Um, no, we all have our own room. room. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. So Fatu Ami has uh, her own apartment, and oh, then yeah. the three of us live together still mm. um, for a little bit until they get us our individual ones later. But I have my room. It's like a loft studio. Mm -hmm. um, so Shreya is upstairs, and then I have the room, and then... I feel ga bad for Gabby because she has the like li she used the, the living area oh. as her room and mm. they're gonna get her curtains for like divisions. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Gabby, when they get another apartment for us, you should be the first one to move out. She's very nice. She's like, no, oh. you guys, you guys have it. It's fine. I can How do, do you? So I have a question. How do you choose your rooms? Like stone, paper, scissor, or how do you do it? By oldest. By oldest, I think that's how we did it too. Yeah, so back in the we, days. Obviously, when so we I go always in, had this, yeah. the smallest Aww. room. Uh, well, actually, it was weird because, like, when the oldest chose, like I chose, mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna be like, this is my room. Like, no one else can have it. I like, I like this room. Mm -hmm. Can I? 
would it be okay with you guys if I use it? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oh. they understand this. It's like I don't just choose. I just I ask permission mm -hmm. first, even if I am old, the oldest. Because normally I'm <laughs> the youngest in my household. Mm -hmm. So I'm not used to it. So, and then Shreya chose the upstairs. She liked it. And Gabby wanted the living room area oh, because so you... the upstairs, you know how the ceiling is just lower? Yeah. So she wasn't, her, her knees are like, and her back, mm. it won't work with okay. that. So she wanted that area. Mm -hmm. So it worked out at yeah. least. There was no like fights or anything. That's like, good. No, I wanted uh -huh. that Because it can be a sensitive issue. Because yes, it's, mm -hmm. it's your living space. So exactly. you want the best possible outcome. But at least with Gabby's room, she's getting like a, a loft bed. Mm. So her bunk, the top of it will be her bed and then the under will be like mm -hmm. storage or whatever she wants to do with it. Mm. So she has a lot of space like height wise or ceiling. So yeah. she used that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's always nice to have your own private little space, so yeah. that's good that you have your own room. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's nice. Yep. Okay, as usual, we're going to take a quick song break and then come back with our mini Korean lesson before jumping into the idol life, idol life discussion. So let's listen to B1A4 and their song, 이게 무슨 일이야? What's going on? We just heard 이게 무슨 일이야, What's Going On by B1A4. And this song's from 2013. Have this you heard it before? This is a 2013 uh -huh. song? This sounds like a song that would be played like... Just recently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. I actually, I really liked the casual speech in it. <laughs> really, I really <laughs> the do. Beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. That and then obviously the end and like some in-betweens. Mm -hmm. And... Me too. I, I like the casual speaking part. It yeah. reminded me of Changia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at the first time I was like, oh, Changia, your style has changed. Uh -huh. <laughs> but no, no. <laughs> but at least with, oh, Ige Wusin. Ige Wusin Iria. Wusin Iria. When I always hear this when like someone is a little bit like frustrated uh -huh. or like, like, what is this? Or like, what are you, what are you doing? Yes. Or like this kind of stuff. Like, Ige Wusin Iria. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Am I in trouble? Uh, <laughs> I was like, no. Oh. It's like actually, it, even in dramas too, I hear it. So mm -hmm. like, hmm. But, but I haven't used it yet. Uh -huh. But you use this on happy occasions too. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, and, oh, when somebody surprises like you. Like a surprise. Oh, okay. What's, what's happening? That's what's good going to know. on? Yeah. Okay, so I it's like not that. always a bad expression. Good. <laughs> good. I'm but it was my first time hearing it too. And it's a good song. Mm -hmm. I have yeah, let's look at the comments. Okay. Baddy Win X Persian Love X says, Hey, Harry Man Envy. Hello. And Shunis Moore says, Yes, Envy. Glad you girls have settled into your new apartment. Yay. <laughs> I'm so happy for you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Johnny says, Once my project team shared a furnished model apartment. The other big guy and myself ended up sharing the kids room oh. with small beds, but one guy slept in the walk-in closet. It was surreal. Huh? Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tepe Oren says, hi Envy, I like the casual look. Tepe! Hello again, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And Hiana Vic says, S can you read that? Saludos desde Colombia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is I'm guessing. Salud. Uh, is it hello? Hello from, hello from Colombia. Colombia. I'm guessing. I'm ge okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Because I saw Colombia, so I'm guessing it's probably they're from Colombia. Mm -hmm. But saludos desde Colombia. Yeah, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And Ham says, "Welcome back, NV. You look like a college student today. How does it feel to be there two hours earlier than usual? <laughs> Did you have to wake up earlier? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do look like a college student. Uh huh. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is actually what I would wear when I was in college, legit. Um, <laughs> now it feels." Um, how do you feel? I always love being here, no matter what time. Mm -hmm. But I don't like waking up early and I had to wake up really 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 early today just just you know well not really really early but you couldn't really sleep 
Uh, no, mm -hmm. no, I couldn't sleep. But it's mm -hmm. okay, we're doing great, yeah. and we're here, and uh -huh. I'm having a good time. But mm -hmm. mornings are not for me. Like, mm. anything from 6 a.m. to, like... 12? 12 <laughs> is early for me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, it feels um, surreal, surreal uh, filming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But thinking about it, it's already 11, so it's not that early, right? No, no, mm -hmm. no. Because this is usually the time that I either I, wake yeah. up and get ready to leave for mm -hmm. radio or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's around this time. Yeah. And I'm usually okay by this time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's talk about our Korean lesson. Yeah. For our mini le Korean lesson of the week, we're going to go back to Mr. Changi Ha. Okay. <laughs> and listen to one of the songs by his band, Changi Ha wa Olgurdil. It's a song called Kroge Wei Gure So. <laughs> I, almost, I almost had them. I have the melody in my head. Oh. Yeah. 그러게 왜 그랬어? It's one of my favorite Changya song. Mm -hmm, okay. Um, anyways, its official English title is You Shouldn't Have Done That. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have done that. 그러게 왜 그랬어? So 왜 그랬어 means why did you do it or mm. why did you do that? 왜 <laughs> 그랬어? So that's easy enough, right? 네. But the 그러게 part is so much more nuanced. And that's what makes the English title make sense. Okay. The word itself just means so. But it also implies, see, I told you so. Or I knew this would happen. Oh, this is a, like a, this is a I told you so phrase. Uh -huh. okay. I told you so, so why did you do that? I told you so, so why? Mm -hmm. okay. So why did you do that? And when I first heard this song, I was quite shocked mm. to hear it. It's such an unusual song. Yeah. It's not the usual K-pop songs that we listen to on a no normal basis. Yeah. Yeah, this is a lot like a narration and then he kind of screams. <laughs> oh, oh. So that's gonna wake you up. It's, it's gonna wake us up this morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. So can you uh, kind of guess what kind of song it's gonna be? Just from the title. Oh, okay. 그러게 왜 그랬어? So why did you do that? Um, I don't think it's gonna. I mean, if you're also saying that he's like narrating and then screaming at some point, I might be thinking this ain't. This is not a happy song. So <laughs> maybe there'll be like. A lot of songs usually are about like relationships and couples. So yeah. I'm gonna guess there may be a tiff or like an argument mm -hmm. or they did some someone did something wrong so yeah, yeah you're right on point okay mm -hmm. great it's about a couple after a fight oh okay and we can guess from the lyrics that the girlfriend came over to the protagonist's place late at night okay. soaked in rain oh, oh it's good for it rain. this day because it's rainy today yeah and the boyfriend tells her to come in where he's kept the heater on mm. so <laughs> <laughs> it's a oh, so he wow. says it so nonchalant, nonchalantly, mm -hmm. like techung uh. techung, like he doesn't care okay. in his words. But then he's like turning on the heater on, like telling her to come in. So he actually, he does his still, action yeah. shows that he still cares. It's like just arguments are like in the moment things, and then once you take away, step away from it, then you're like, okay, wait, no, I still love this person. So yeah. like, yeah. Uh -huh. So you say words. That's like, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. But then what you're showing them is... I do care. Yeah, I do care. Basically, yeah. And some more useful expressions include okay. 왜 애초에 그런 말을 했어? And 애초에, have you heard of this word? This is the first time. Mm -hmm. 애초에 means in the first place. In the first place. So he's saying, 애초에. why did you say that in the first place? 애초에. Okay. Mm -hmm. 애초에. So it's a really commonly used expression, often to express regret, like mm. 애초에 가지 말걸. Ah. I shouldn't have gone in the first place, or 애초에 포기했다, I gave up in the first mm. place. Okay. Ah, 애초에. 애초에 하지 말걸, I shouldn't have done it in okay. the first place. 애초에 something something. Mm -hmm. So you can use it in different situations. Okay. So 애초에. 애초에 is a good one to know, 애초에, like the beginning, in the first place. Mm. And then another expression is 맨날 왜 그래? Have you heard of this expression like 맨날? 맨날, 맨날 I feel like I've heard yeah, it before this one, but I don't know what it means. Mm -hmm. 맨날. 맨날 is really commonly used and it could mean every day or always. Like every day 매일 or, okay. or... Like mm -hmm. 매, okay, yeah, okay, 맨날. Like, 맨날. 
we're always because I know like at least Nar is like day. the day so mm -hmm. and then I'm just not used to, like if it's every day I'm used to hearing Meiyu mm -hmm. but Mennar okay. Mennar you can also say Mennar uh, every day or always you can use it both ways and Wegure means this one you know right why did you do why that why did you do it mm -hmm. Wegure or why, uh, why, why are, are you, you like this? this? Why are you so. like this? And wegure so is the past tense of this. Wegure, wegure, wegure so. And this comes out a lot in the song, so I'm just letting you know. And in this song, he's saying, why do you always do this? So I guess she keeps um, doing something. Yeah, they keep fighting yeah. and then she always comes back. I guess it's like that. It's a fun storyline. Story line. And also, Dorang nanen we mennar himdoro. There's a part that goes like that. Do rang nanu women that hindro. Women there. Women there. Hindro. Why is it always so difficult for you and me? Ooh. That's the whole expression. Oh dang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I guess tough. they're always that's fighting. Tough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's saying do rang nanu women that hindro. Yeah. He says that. And some other uses of men there would be, let's say, if someone says, "You must be so tired." After practice, mm. you could say, oh, well, I do this every day. Well, mm. oh, I do this. I do, I do it every day, so it's okay. Yeah. Or, well, another mm. example, doing the same thing every day is so boring. <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. What I, how I use this word is, I'm ah. always hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm always hungry. The midnight pickle pie. Okay, I mm -hmm. actually I need to start using that one because men I'm always hungry. Yeah, if you if you start to use this word, you you it, it will you will st keep using it. Midnight. Uh -huh. And then the last expression is ilua. Ah, you know I this have one? heard this one. Iluwa. Iluwa? Mm -hmm. It's like, come here. Yeah, it's short for iriruwa. Mm -hmm. And it's not proper Korean, but it's very casual. Mm -hmm. uh, iriruwa. Okay. Oh, iluwa. You mm -hmm. don't really say iriruwa. You'll iriruwa. just say iluwa. <laughs> iluwa ba. Because if I were to first learn this, I actually, I didn't know the spelling till today. I was like, how do you spell that? But iluwa? now I know. Mm -hmm. Iriroa. But nobody really says that. Iriroa. Iriroa. Yeah. You just say Iriroa. Yeah. Iriroa. But can you come yeah. over here for a second? Iriroa. Because if I were to guess the spelling when I hear it, I just hear Iriroa. So mm. I would think E and then Ro. Wa. Iriroa. But I would not think Iriroa. Uh -huh. But now I know. Mm -hmm. okay. But when you say it, it's Iriroa. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it means come here. So it's kind of like come here. <laughs> you know, come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> and he actually says, Ollun illua, meaning hurry up and mm. come here, as he gives her a hug. And he says it very, un again, so very cool, nice. uh, in a cool manner. Yeah, look uh -huh. at him. Yeah. So today we have many expressions. So let's see if you can hear. E choe, mennal, wegure, and illua, as we listen to the song. Choe, mennal. What was the other one? Wegure. Wegure and, and Ilua. Which okay. one do you think uh, you will, you, which one do you like? Um, I think I'll probably like Mennar and Wegure. Mm -hmm. Wegure, I think I'm going to hear that a lot and I'll probably end up using that. Because one, I hear Wegure a lot of the time already. Mm. But Mennar... Like if you're feeling down, mm. someone will come up, someone oh, can wegure, come up. Wegure. Yeah, Wegure, mm. Kibuna Joa mm. or something. Yeah. So I think I'll hear that one a lot. But yeah. Mennar, I have a feeling I'll, I'm going to pick up on that one, though. Mennar, mm -hmm. that's, yeah. that's what That's how I always use it. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so here is 장기야와 얼굴들 with 그러게 왜 그랬어? You shouldn't have done that. That was 그러게 왜 그랬어? You shouldn't have done that by 장기야와 얼굴들. So, what did you think? I actually really liked that song. Mm -hmm. Like, really. I'm glad you liked it. It was, um, you know, a nice chill song. When you said that he would be screaming, I was like, mm -hmm. wait, 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 what kind of song is this? I didn't want to scare you. Yeah. So I kept telling him, uh, so he, there's a screaming part. He's okay, going to scream. Okay. <laughs> no, but this actually reminds me of um, a 
not like full on musical theater, but like it has, when you do like a narration part, part that's more like talking, mm -hmm. you kind of match it with like the rhythm of the beat and the song. And he added like a slight, like, you know, melody with how he spoke. Yeah. And that's why I was like, it reminds me of how I studied musical theater. So I was like, hi, I like this. And then like the chorus was like, wig it. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, okay, no, actually, this is pretty good. <laughs> I like it. It was fun. Yeah, that's my favorite part. At first, it was quite shocking, but now I listen to the song to hear that part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have the different um, tones of Wegure in it. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, he... The last Wegure was, like, a little bit quieter. Mm -hmm. I was like, mm -hmm, this is good. I like this. Isn't it cool that he sings in such a cool tone like the, such a his cool manner casual, on stage. casual tone i love he that. doesn't try too hard yeah it's like he, he's really he's like, talking he, i'm actually really talking and doing my feelings so this is like how it should, yeah mm -hmm. how it should be but i think out of all of the <laughs> phrases that we learned i was oh i only heard wicked that's so i one heard wicked a you. lot of uh -huh. the time we get it so yeah. well that's the chorus so, part yeah, so yeah yeah that's the chorus we get it. yeah yeah <laughs> But I definitely caught on on that one. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, read the comments. Mm. Mm, so our, huh? He, uh, ah, uh, so our staff writer wrote, uh, thinks that he whispers the last word because he's already holding her in her arms. Ah, okay. Mm, oh. That would make sense. Yeah. That's right. So he's not that angry he's anymore. Just call me. That's okay. <laughs> So it's like a whole, uh, a really long story in just one yeah. song, right? Just yeah. three minutes, he shows everything. He had a lot of emotions in that song, though. So yeah. I would wonder what, what, what was going through his head when he was wrote, writing that one. Mm -hmm. It really lets us imagine the whole situation. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, Gina says, what's the song again? Yeah, so this is Kuroge Wegure, so you shouldn't have done that by Changiawa Olgurdul. Yes. And Ray Lear says, Oh, I actually made it to a live show. Hi, Envy, and hi, Harim. Hello, hi. thanks for finally joining us. Yeah, thank you. And Eugenie Irish says, Love how I'm learning Korean with them at 3.20 a.m. Wow. Yeah, hey, I'm, you got, sometimes it's best to learn at night. Mm -hmm. That's how I learn most of my stuff is at night, so. And you can remember <laughs> yeah, more exactly. at that time. Because then quiet. you can sleep on it after. Mm -hmm. And then you wake up and you know. Yeah. Tape Wern says, is he even singing? Sounds like he's talking. Just a little bit occasionally. He goes with the, it's like a ryth rhythmic, mm -hmm. rhythmic rap. Yeah. Rhythmic, well rap is rhythmic so that's but it's not like the usual rap that we know right? it's it's like a I wouldn't say full-on melodic rap mm -hmm. but that's what I would think of it because it does have a little bit of like just melody just a tad tad bit okay on occasions uh -huh. so it's a, some it's a melodic rap is what I would yeah a but y'all can correct rap. me if I'm wrong I also like that part. Da, 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 yeah, da, 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 da. that was really good. I loved that one too. Because I can just put this song on and just do something and just listen to it. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's just a vibing song. Yeah. And Johnny says, "I'm super, cur I'm super curious how many the faces there were for some reason. <laughs> it's an interesting band name." Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Yeah, it's uh, five instrumentalists. So, Changiya wa Olgulder. Yeah, I thought it was an interesting name too. Mm -hmm. Literally, so. Yeah? <laughs> so, I'm glad once again that you like the song. Now, this makes me uh, think what should I bring next? <laughs> Another great <laughs> song to bring for you. <laughs> Another screaming song? <laughs> Another. I mean, I guess if, if that's a screaming song for you, hey, I don't mind bringing another one. It was nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you're just tuning in right now, we're joined in by NV of Black Swan to talk about the K-pop artist life on I Feel You. And one thing idol groups do a lot is we travel for work. Yes, mm -hmm. you are right. We travel a lot. 
So you're constantly on the road as group, traveling from Sukso to a practice room, to recording studios, to different performance venues, photo shoots, events, and costume fittings, yeah. so on. Yeah. So do you and other members have a designated seat in the car or van when you're traveling together? Actually, we do. You do? Mm -hmm. um, at least for when we go in the car, on the driver's side, because we have a van, mm -hmm. and you have the middle row and then you have the back row. And so Alni sits on the driver's side in the middle row, and then Gabby and Shreya will usually always sit in the back unless, like, someone's having like a stomach ache or stuff and the, then they'll move to my seat which is the window seat on the passenger side so yeah but we alternate with depending on situations and stuff hmm. i always felt comfortable sitting at the back i for me i can't sit at the back too ah, much it's why too does it feel because i get motion busy? sickness really mm -hmm. easily and actually when i first moved to korea i I had a really bad vertigo, actually, and I don't know why, like, um, the first, like, two months, I could not be in any transportation thing, like, cars, trains, buses, it was hard for me, mm -hmm. and I would get sick just out of nowhere, mm -hmm. and I was like, why am I like this? Is it because it's, like, a whole different, like, environment than I'm, like, used to, but, like, it's, I don't know, it was weird. It was weird, but I had really bad vertigo when I got here. Well, are you fine now? Like, do you feel better? Yes, I'm fine now. Like, I still, like, cars, if I'm not the one driving, it's hard for me to be in a car because oh. just cars are not easy for me. You know, I noticed that drivers, they feel uh, motion sickness mm. when they're at, at the back seat. That's the for, backseat like, the is drivers. the worst because that's where you feel the most of it. So if mm -hmm. I'm in the backseat, but back especially seat, the drivers feel that more the, intensely. Really? Yeah. When, the drivers when they're not driving, me, like my my one of my friend, mm. some of my friends, and just people around me, people who drive, mm. they say they feel motion sickness when they're sitting at the back when they're not driving. Really? Yeah, that's something I noticed, but may, I don't know. Because it's weird, because before, I, I, I guess that does make sense, because before I started driving, I was, I think I was fine. See, I didn't get right? too many motion sickness, but the, once I started so driving, I was like, I, if I'm not driving, I either need to be in the front seat so I yeah. can look at the road, or um, if I'm in the back seat, I'll sit in the middle so I can look at the road. Because even mm. when I was small, and I had motion sickness, depending on like the trip or something. Um, I would, my mom would always tell me, just look at the road. Mm. <laughs> so maybe that's, but that's why, because it's weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that is. So what do you and everyone else do when, while you're in the car? Uh, we don't do too much in the car. Like we don't really mm. talk too much in the car. Unless like, I think it like, really the, depends on the group. Like yeah. some groups love to chat in the car yeah with some groups just lo like to go quietly yeah we're just like we're a crazy group but when it when we're in the car if like something wasn't funny before we got in the car we're just going to be sitting quietly like either looking on our phone or like listening music but we're usually really quiet when we're in the car because hmm. It's it tired. It's so it tiring, tiring yeah. you know, traveling and all of that. So, yeah. You want to save up your energy for yeah. the next schedule. Yeah, because usually when I'm in the car, to avoid motion sickness, I'll just sleep. Mm. Yeah, so I'll sleep in the car. So we're usually very quiet. Yeah. And I think it was, it was cute. One time we were traveling home from uh, our vocal lesson, and um, Shreya was singing. And, you know... Usually, like, depending on the music that they play, like, we'll sing along with she had her thing is in her ear. And so our managers were playing stuff on the in the car, and she was singing stuff from her headphones. Mm -hmm. And she was singing so loud. And I was like, I just, I just want to sleep right now. And <laughs> she's, like, full-on belting in the car, and I'm hearing her and the music. I was like... I love her, but how do I tell her to just... It's too loud. So what did you do? Did you tell her? I 
to stop I singing. I let her sing for a good amount of time until my patience ran thin. So and so I, I was like, oh. in a nice way, I was like, I like tapped her on the show. I was like, girl, I love you, but it's really loud. And Gabby was like, yeah, girl, really? Because we I think we were both like kind of eyeing each other, like, who's going to tell her? And so I was like, girl, I love you, but it's too, it's too loud. Just, just sing a little quieter. Aww. And she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, and I was like, no, it's okay. You, you can sing, just sing a little quiet. Aww. I mean, yeah, it was, it was a cute moment. It was a cute moment. Yeah, I mean, I think we all have, like, habits of what we do in the car, because yeah. we're always traveling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would always plug in the earphone and just listen to songs at the back. Yeah. Yeah, I think we all did that. So you also often travel overseas for extended period of time as yeah. well. So do you have a travel buddy with, within the group? Um, or someone you sh always share the room with? Uh, usually when we travel to different places and we're st spending the night at places, we tend to, uh, well, whoever we roomed with normally, we'll mm. switch so that way we're not always with that person so we can oh. have time away. Um, so we usually try and switch roommates when we're traveling mm -hmm. or if, you know, we have our own room when we're out of hotels, then great. Mm -hmm. But travel buddy-wise, um... I don't really have a travel buddy. We all just kind of go with whoever we want to go with at the time. Like, mm. it's, it's like we go with everybody in our own situations or times. Like, oh, Gabby would love to go to this cafe to drink this coffee or eat this dessert. Mm -hmm. Like, and I want to go. So, like, let me take Gabby. Mm. And then, it, yeah, it depends if one is tired. Yeah, it just yeah. depends on the situation. And I think it really depends on who you, you, you share the room with. Yeah. Because yeah. then you have breakfast together and you kind of yeah. stay together yeah. all the time. I remember with our group, because when we go to hotels, they would give us keys, right? Right. So depending on who they set us together, the, the, who the, the uh, hotel or, yeah. yeah they set us with, we'll just go with that person. Oh, the, the hotel? Hotel or the, I don't know, hengsa, so who they set us oh. up with. We would just go with, like, so we would check our room number mm. when they give us the card. And we just go with that person. Oh. <laughs> yeah, normally they just give us the cards and then we're like, okay, I'll sleep with Gabby tonight. Okay, I'll sleep with Oni. I'll sleep with Shreya. Mm. And then, yeah, we just usually decide between ourselves. Yeah, it's good. I remember the first time I went abroad, oh, it was China, but I think after that was Singapore. Oh. And they, it was really cool to see that. Have you been to Singapore with your members? I have not been to Singapore mm -hmm. yet. Hopefully soon. You should try the, uh, I think it was chili crab. Chili crab? Yeah, my members loved it. Ooh, mm -hmm. I love crab, so I am I think I might like it. So yeah. We will see. Hmm. So what's everyone's favorite way to spend your free time while traveling for work? After, after your hangsa? What I have noticed between my members, and I will talk about what I do later, but between my members, uh, I think on me and I, usually we will be inside most of the time because mm. we'll, we'll be tired, so we'll like spend our time, especially if we have our own room, we'll spend our time by ourselves. Um, but occasionally, maybe she'll go on like walks or like go out and see things, go to restaurants in the hotel or whatever. And then Gabby and Shreya. <laughs> Do they like to go they're sightseeing? Always, they they're, they, they want to go out and see things or they'll film like reels or TikToks oh. to post later. So that's what they do. Mm -hmm. Or take a lot of pictures. Because we have to take a lot of pictures to post later. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm so lazy with that. So I'm like, I'll go, I'll go to the restaurant when I want, when I'm hungry, but I'm just going to stay inside my room <laughs> and uh, Yeah, I think sleep. there are tr two groups. Yeah. One group that likes to go out and do sightseeing. Yeah. One and group I that like likes to stay in. sightseeing, but if it's been a long day, I'm not going to go sightsee. Right. I'm going to go in my room and I'm going to go to bed. Mm -hmm. But if it's like 
dealing with food, however. Oh, then you have to go. I will be out. <laughs> I will be. I think that's my sightseeing is food. Is Me too. Food. Oh, so that's the only we reason would why. make a good travel buddy. Okay, I, you know, yeah. let's schedule a trip together, <laughs> and then we can. It'll be perfect. It'll be yeah, perfect. we like to stay inside. We like to eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll only. <laughs> and we like chili crab. Oh, wonderful. We'll I found my travel buddy. To eat. We'll only go out to eat. And I was like, what's. Then they'll be like, what's the point of traveling then? To yeah. try the food. <laughs> yeah, and managers would be like, oh, so who wants to go sightseeing? And I'm quiet. And then they, they, when they ask us, oh, who wants to go and eat? Me. <laughs> it's like, are we going to go eat? I was like, yeah, eventually. I was like, oh, can we eat first? And then you can just drop us back home. <laughs> Oh, pickle pie. Pickle pie. Yeah, exactly. Always hungry. Always, I'm always thinking about. Food. And the best part about traveling is to try new food. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> that when I travel with my family, we're always trying new food. I'm like, that's the best part about traveling. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. when you go to another country or another state or anything, they have their own style of food. Yeah. And it might be good. Mm -hmm. So you gotta try it. Yeah, talking about traveling really makes me want to go somewhere, just any anywhere to travel. I hope we can right. go somewhere soon. Uh -huh. And all right, it's time for another song break. We'll be right back after these two songs. First up is 그냥 지금 바람이 좋잖아, Feel This Breeze by Sunmin and Cho Hyungwoo. And after that, we'll listen to Urban Zakapa and their song Driving to You. That was Driving to You by Urban Zakapa. And before that, we heard 그냥 지금 바람이 좋잖아. Feel this breeze by Sunmin and Cho Hyungwoo. Now, looking at some comments, uh, looking at our comment, mm. we have Claire. Claire says, Envy, do you know the word 꿀잼? It's a compound word combining honey and fun. I mean, that it's really, really honeyly looking fun. Today's show is 꿀잼. This is the first time I've heard that. I like that. Gul jem. Gul jem. Because oh. gul is honey. And you like should write it down. It's a good expression. Gul jem. Like when something's really, um, really fun. Yeah. I'm making a mental note. Mm. And then I will write it. Gul jem. When do you like, what's the best situations to use that in? Gul jem? Yeah. Ah, uh, I don't know. When you're watching your favorite show on the Netflix mm. pro program with the, uh, what's the... Your, the show that, yeah. <laughs> that that's Guru Jam for you. Guru Jam, okay, okay. When Whatever. someone asks you, oh, I haven't watched that show. How is that? And you can just oh, say, it's oh, Guru Jam. Exactly. That's how you use it. Perfect. So whenever you feel like grabbing popcorn, Ooh, mm -hmm, okay. it's Guru Jam. Mm -hmm. We use this a lot. It's very common. Guru Jam, honey plus fun. Okay. Very okay. fun. Extra fun. Mm -hmm. I like I like that kind of so, combination. I I don't hear we don't normally mix the word honey with fun. Mm -hmm. We just use it. It's like oh, do you want honey in your tea? Or like <laughs> or like a nickname for like your like a boyfriend or girlfriend. Like oh honey, oh yeah. come here. It's like this kind of uh -huh. stuff that we only use it for honey. But yeah. But here yeah, we I use like it a lot. Yeah, gul jam, gul jam. Something that's really fun. <laughs> gul jam, so. I will remember yeah. that. All right, so going back to our uh, talk about traveling. Okay. So who's who's the photographer in your team? Like, there's always one person who's good at taking pictures. That is Gabby. Gabby mm. is amazing at taking pictures. I think if it goes by rank, it would be Gabby and then me and then... She and, yeah, she and I then saw your me. photos on Instagram and it looks amazing. Some of those I... Uh, Gabby took for me or Shreya took for me and actually all the members at one point took some of those photos for me and then sometimes depending on if they're busy I will just do like the timer setting and I'll do it myself so Ooh. yeah it looks great it's fun so, yeah. I like to be creative with my posts mm. so mm. I think photos are they are uh, they have a trend mm. right yeah like for what's, me what's the current trend <laughs> do you know like the angle or I think it's the, the angles, background. The angles of it. Because a lot of people will take... I got it. A lot of people will take a lower angle mm -hmm. to make them look taller. Uh, but so, you don't have to do that. No, but we still do. <laughs> <laughs> we still do to make us look even more taller. And oh. the thing is, my torso to my head, I'm actually very short this way. It's just my legs that are 
long and it's funny a lot of people even when I was working at a summer camp one mm -hmm. time I was a counselor to my kids and one of the kids that I had in my group he's like he was like seven seven a seven year old he was looking at me and he was just like <laughs> and I was like why, why are you looking at me like he's like you're all you're just all legs. I, was like, I get the, the thing is I get this comment a lot. People what? will know me and then when they actually know me, know me, and they'll just stop and just look at me and mm -hmm. they're like, you're just all legs. And I hear this comment, this specific comment. I've so never many heard times. of such comment. Yeah, she's like, you're just all legs. I'm like, yes, thank you. I know I'm very tall and mm -hmm. I know it's that just my legs. Long legs. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, though. Yeah, I remember when I, when I first met you, I was just so shocked by how tall you yeah. were. The taller than what I expected, because yeah. I only saw you on screen. Right, 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 mm -hmm. right. You and can't. that you had long legs, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So every time I take photos with you side by side, I feel like, um, should I tiptoe or like, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> I feel so short. <laughs> no, and if, usually sometimes, like, I know some people might not like this. I like bend a little or like do like mm -hmm. a little cute pose that I will bend my knees but sometimes it, it's so I can be at an even length because sometimes when it comes to height it, it can be mm -hmm. like hard <laughs> and but it's fun it's fun though so if, it's okay but all of your members are tall yeah I'm actually the shortest <gasps> you are yeah wow yeah it goes like I'm 170 then she is 71 Gabby 72 and on these 73 mm. but actually we were someone we were talking to one of our friends and they said you guys are not the right you guys need to like measure yourselves again because you guys are not that you're taller, taller. than that <laughs> oh we're like Please don't say that. We're not, we're, we're not, we're not, we don't want to be any taller than that, please. But yeah, so we might need to measure ourselves again. I think it's good to have similar heights mm -hmm. when you're in a group, Especially right? in a group. Because you don't want to be, like, stand out too much yeah, to be too tall or too short. Yeah, when I think about it, if it's a big group, mm -hmm. that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I don't, I don't mind if there's a lot of people. It's good to have a diverse, you yeah. know, height. But if it's just like... Three, like three or, or four, four girls members. or uh, guys or members in the group it's it, w it looks better formation wise on yeah. camera and everything if you're somewhat similar mm -hmm. right? not exactly but similar yeah my group was around 162 average height mm, 162 okay. yeah we were all similar wow that w i think that looks better right and i think Visually. you know yeah and if you're gonna match heights, like let's say if I was really, really short between the three of them, mm -hmm. then when I'm on stage or when I'm on camera, you I have would to wear, wear extra, extra high, high heel. heels. Yeah. Well, there are ways. So. Yeah. So that's one of that's it's one not, of the ways that I've noticed. Yeah. At least. Not impossible. And so when I see it, some some people like do, I was like, either they're the shortest or they just like wearing platform heels mm -hmm. to make them look taller, which is fine. Yeah. For mm -hmm. me, a lot of people like. I wish I was your height. I was like, I wish I was your height. I do not want to be this height. <laughs> because it's harder dance-wise because when you're taller and you have to like go like low or all that, it's hard, mm -hmm. but it's fine. Well, as always, time just flew by and now we have to say goodbye. Aww. Yeah. Well, thank you for another super fun chat and we'll see you next week. Okay. Have a great day. Yeah, okay, you bye. too. Bye. bye. All right, we're going to say goodbye to Envy with the song Holiday by